Welcome to Cuber Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use JCuber plugin to edit general project settings, default and individual slide and transition settings, and to add, duplicate, delete, or reorder slides. How to use JCuber to edit general project settings. To edit Cuber project, go to Components drop down menu in Joomla Control Panel, then go to Cuber and click on Edit option. Slideshows page with a list of all available Cuber projects will open. Click on Name a project you want to edit. Edit Slideshow page for selected project will open. Under Slideshow settings, you can see the configuration file location and project ID number. You can also change the project name. Don't forget to check Published option so your slider can be displayed when you embed it to Article. By editing values in Width and Height fields, you can change size of your Cuber slider. If needed, you can change images and fonts folder locations. You can also choose to force JavaScript version of your slider. If this option is checked, JavaScript version will be displayed even on devices that have Flash installed. In Alternative Content field, you can set content which will be shown when Cuber slider can't be displayed. On Edit Slideshow page, you can also change background properties. You can set transparent background for your slider or choose the background color by using the color picker. There's also an option to change the background image by clicking on Browse button. To upload new background image to image gallery, click on Choose File button and locate the image on your computer. After the image is selected, click Start Upload button. Upload Complete message will be displayed and you can see that image is added to the gallery. Click on it to select it and then click on Insert button to set this image as a new background. You can see that background image is changed. If you use Static Shadow or Custom Preloader in your project, you can change their images the same way. To make changes we made to general settings effective, click on Save and Close icon that is located on top of the page. Message will be displayed to confirm that changes are saved successfully. How to use JCuber to edit default slides and transition settings. To edit slides and transition settings of project in JCuber, click on its name on Slideshows page. There are default and individual slides and transition settings available. You can access default settings if you click on Slide Defaults in JCuber Navigation. Default settings define common settings for all slides and transitions. You can use default slide settings to change slide size. We will increase width of slides in this project. You can also adjust align and offset settings for all slides. We will change alignment using the drop down menu and change X offset a bit. Slide settings section contains duration, color, link URL, and link target properties. We will increase slides duration, change their background color, and set link URL which will be opened in same window. Please use full URL so JCuber can recognize it correctly. For choosing the link target, use the drop down menu. You can also set link URL and target for description box. Default transition settings are below settings for slides. Here you can make changes to all available transitions properties. That gives you the opportunity to fully configure transitions of your slider directly from your Joomla control panel.
In SEO section, you can choose what to use for auto-generated SEO content, which is added to Cuber Embedding Code. You can also add custom caption, heading, and paragraph text in provided fields. To make changes we made to default slides and transition settings effective, click on Save and Close icon, which is located on top of the page. How to use JQuber to edit default slides and transition settings. To edit slides and transition settings of project in JQuber, click on its name on Slideshow's page. You can access individual slide and transition settings by clicking on Slides and Transitions in JQuber Navigation. On Slides and Transitions page, you can see the list of all slides in this project. To access settings for particular slide and its paired transition, click on it in the list. In individual slide settings, you can change the slide image or instruct slider not to use image for this slide by setting Use Image Property value to No. To change the slide image, click on Browse button. To upload new slide image to Image Gallery, click on Choose File button and locate the image on your computer. Click on that image to select it, and then click Open button. After the image is selected, click Start Upload button. Upload Complete message will be displayed, and you can see that image is added to the gallery. Click on it to select it, and then click on Insert button to use the new image on this slide. You can see that slide image is changed. In individual slide settings, you can also override default settings for slide duration, color, caption, link URL, and link target properties. Description heading and paragraph text and link for this particular slide description box are also set here. We will add paragraph text and link for description box on this slide, which will be set to open in new browser window. Transition settings for this particular slide are below. Individual transition settings have same properties as default transition settings. By changing them, you will override the default settings. In SEO section, you can choose to include or exclude image, heading, paragraph, and caption text of this particular slide in auto-generated SEO content. You can also add custom SEO text and image alternative text for this individual slide. To make changes you made to settings of this particular slide and transition pair effective, you need to click on Save and Close icon, which is located on top of the page. You can define your default settings and then override them with custom settings for individual slide or transition. By having default settings, you don't need to define each property over and over again. This way, you can change properties that need to be different for each transition or slide in individual settings. How to add, duplicate, delete, or reorder slides and their paired transitions in JQuber. Slide and Transitions page also allows you to add, duplicate, delete, or reorder slides and their paired transitions. To add new slide and transition pair, click on New icon. Add slide and transition page will open. Here you can set image and change other properties for new slide and transition pair as explained in previous chapter. We will just set Use Image property to No, choose color for the slide, and leave default values for other properties. After that, we just need to click on Save and Close icon, and new slide and transition pair will be added to the list. There are seven slides in this list now. To duplicate a slide and transition pair, check the checkbox in its row and click on Duplicate button. You can see that copy of third slide is added to Slideshow as its eighth slide. You can reorder slides by using the arrows in Ordering section.
To delete slide from your slideshow, check the checkbox in its row, click on Delete icon, and confirm that you want it deleted. You can see the changes made to your slider by clicking on Preview icon for Flash version of slider, or Preview JS icon for JavaScript version. Thank you for watching Cuber Video Tutorials.